Hi everyone, my name is Helen and I'm here today to do a low intensity cardio workout with you. We're going to do about eight exercises of about a minute each and I will go through every exercise with you, okay? So our first exercise today is going to be a half jack. So what we're going to do, we're going to again, I'll show you for a half jack. This is what it is. You can just use one arm, one leg, or if you want to, you can use both arms with one leg, okay? So this exercise we are going to do for a minute. So when you're ready, we're going to do a minute. Off we go. So again, we can just start this exercise here. If it feels too easy, bring in both those arms. And again, you can go as fast or as slow as you feel comfortable. And you can change at any time. Just take the time. And relax. Our next exercise is going to be a tap back. So with a tap back, I'll show you from the side. You are going to stand and you can use one arm or one leg. So again, you can use the same arm, same leg, or opposite arm, two opposite leg. Or again, both arms if you want to. Again, we're going to do this exercise for one minute. So when we're ready, let's go. Again, I'll just change direction for you so you can see me from the front. Just keep going. Remember, you can just do one arm if you want to. So one arm on. Do as much as you feel comfortable with. And we're nearly there. And stop. Our next exercise is a heel do with bicep curls, okay? So what we can do, again, watch me from here, but I will turn to the side. I'm gonna do a heel dig. So it's a nice gentle heel dig with a nice gentle bicep curl, okay? So when we're ready, we're going to do a minute of this. If you want to, you can just have your hands on your hips and just do the heel digs if you feel more comfortable. It's entirely up to you, okay? So when we're ready, we're going to do a minute. Off we go. Okay, so again, using those arms and those legs. Just turn to the side to show you what you look like, okay? Again, you're just taking it nice and steady. Okay, so let's come back to that. Just one more time, we're nearly there, just keep going. Again, remember if the arms become too much, just put your hands on your hips and just continue with the feet. And stop. Well done. Our next exercise is just going to be a nice gentle march on the spot. Okay? So again, just nice and gentle, lifting those feet as much as you feel comfortable. But if you need to use a chair, you can always hold onto the chair and use the back of the chair to help you march. Okay? So for a minute, literally just using our arms and legs and just marching on the spot. Okay? So when we're ready, a minute of that, let's go. 
And again, you're just lifting those knees as high as you feel comfortable. Again, I'll just turn to the side just to show you. Good, well done, keep that going. Nearly there, last few seconds. And relax. Right, the next exercise this time we're gonna use our arms, okay? So we're gonna set up a boxing stance so you can either have your right leg forwards or you can have your left leg forwards. But just so we've got a good balance, okay? And we're using our arms. And we're just gonna punch out, again, just nice and steady pace or as fast or slow as you feel comfortable, okay? So when we're ready, we're gonna do the boxing. I will turn to the side again to show you from the side. Are we ready? So set that stance. Let's go. See it, keep going, well done. I'm gonna show you from the side again, just keep going. There we go. Keep those arms nice and high. And just keep them boxing. If you need a little rest, take a little rest. Just shake your arms out if you need to. And then, you can join back in. So keep going. Well done everyone, keep it up. And relax, well done. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is some high knees. So again, we're just gonna stand and you're gonna lift your knees as high as you feel comfortable. Okay, so again, whether that's just here that's fine, of course, if you need to, you can lift them higher, okay? Entirely up to you how high you go. And if you want to use your hands there, you can do. Or at the same time as well, if you want to, you can always hold onto that chair for support. And we can do it that way instead. Entirely up to you, whether you do it without the chair or with the chair. So again, when we're ready, we're going to do a minute of that, okay? Are we ready? Let's go. Okay, so just lifting those knees nice and high. And like I've just said, if you need that chair for support, that is perfectly fine. Good, that's it. I'm just again, just turn to the side show you on the side and again you're just getting your knees up as high as you feel comfortable good just keep that going well done again we're nearly there And stop, well done. Next exercise is heel flicks. So again, if you need to hold the chair, you can use the chair. So you can hold onto the chair from here. And we are literally just flicking our heels up to our bottoms. Or again, you can just stand and do it without just flicking those heels up. Entirely up to you which way you feel comfortable. So when we're ready, we're gonna do a minute of that, okay? Are we ready? Let's go. So let's flick those heels up. Nice and steady. Good. 
That's it, just thicken and feel comfortable, okay? To make it a bit harder, if you want to use some arms, you can always lift those arms up to the front as well as you're kicking those heels. If not, just keep those heels there. Of course, I'll show you, holding onto the chair, same things, just picking those heels up. Good. That's it, well done. Keep that going, well done. I'll just finish off to the front, keep going. Hopefully we're all doing okay. We're managing to keep up. And when we're ready, and relax, well done. Last exercise is gonna be a sit to stand. So you're gonna need a chair. So from here, you're gonna sit yourself down and you're gonna sit on the first third of your chair. And you're gonna have your heels that are just slightly underneath you. Slightly back, stay nice and tall, tummy pulled in, nice straight back. If you need to use your hands, you can use your hands either pushing on the chair or on your thighs, or again, you can do it without, brilliant. And what we're gonna do is be pushing through our feet, our heels. We're gonna push up and sit down. Push up and sit down, okay? When we're ready, we're gonna do a minute of that. Let's go. Okay, if you want to, you can have your hands on there to help you. Or of course, if you need to use your chair, you can use your chair as well. Good. Some of you, if you need to, as you're doing your sit stand, you may find that you can have a little march. Then sit yourself down. Stand up. Good. Keep going. Well done. Either way. Good. Nearly there. Last little bit. And relax. Well done. At this point, get yourself some water if you need it. And we'll just take a break and then we're going to repeat that circuit again, okay? So let's get some water. I'll just get my water. Hopefully we're all feeling nice and warm at this point. Take a nice big deep breath in, concentrate on your breathing, get your breath back. Give ourselves a little bit of a break and then we're going to go again, okay? So remember back to that first exercise of half jacks. Again, it's going to be a minute. And remember you do as much as you can in that minute. If you need to take a little bit of a breather, take a little bit of a breather and join into the exercise again. Okay? So when we're ready, back to the first exercise. Let's just move this chair slightly out of the way. We're going for our half jack. When we're ready, let's go. Good, well done everyone. Good. Well done, keep going. You can have those two arms if you want to. Just keep that going, nearly there. And relax, well done. Next exercise again is our tap backs again. We are raising our arms to the front and tap into the back. So when you're ready, one arm or two, let's go. So, tap into the back. Well done. 
Remember you can do one arm, one leg. It's a target to you, how you feel comfortable. Good, maintain that nice tall posture. Brilliant. And just take it to the side. And relax, well done. Right, with the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to do our heel digs again. So remember where we heel dig into the front and bicep curls. Again, if you don't want to use your arms, hands on your hips. A minute, let's go. Brilliant, well done. Hopefully you're all starting to feel that a lot warmer now. I know I am. <laughs> Good, well done. Really keep this up. Remember, if you need to hold on to that chair, you can. Nearly there, last little bit. And well done, stop. Brilliant. Next one, our marching. Remember, march on the spot. If you need to hold on to the back of that chair, hold on to the back of that chair for a minute. Let's go. Let's go march. Remember, you're taking this as fast or slow as you feel comfortable. Nearly there. Last few seconds and relax. Well done. Now we're going into our arms, our boxing one. So again, set that right leg forwards or left leg forwards and we're using those arms. Remember, a minute, set yourself, let's go. That's it, well done. Again, just keeping it nice and steady. Or if you feel you could go a little bit faster, you can go that little bit faster. And of course, as it's getting, starts to get that bit easier, you can start using little bits of weights, some tins of beans, tins of peas, just to give you that bit extra weight there. Well done everyone, keep this going. Nearly there, oh last little bit, come on. Come on, don't turn around, let's go. And relax, well done, okay? Next exercise, remember we're gonna do our high knees. So we're going to do our high knee one, where we're just lifting as high as you feel comfortable, okay? So when we're ready, again, if you need that chair to support, remember, you can turn that chair around, hold on to it, and we're lifting those knees nice and high, okay? So when we're ready, let's go. Good. 
And you want to let go and you don't need that chair. Just use those hands. And again, you just go as high as you feel comfortable. So whether it's here or here. And you've got two more exercises after this, and then the circuit will be done. Nearly there. Okay, you need to hold on. And relax, well done. Next exercise, remember our heel flicks? Again, if you need to hold onto the chair, you can hold onto the chair. Just sticking those heels up. Okay, and then of course from here we can do it to the front. Okay, so when we're ready, let's go. Come on, this is our second to last exercise. After this one, we've just got that sit to stand left to do, and then we're done. Okay, then I'll show you one in the chair. Last little bit, nearly there. And stop. Well done, everybody. That's the circuit done. Hopefully you enjoyed it.